Hello, everyone. You don't have a right to refuse your husband or your wife sex. And you may say to me, Uncle Calf, what do you mean? Okay, let's go to scripture. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 1 through 4. Now concerning the things whereof, Ye wrote unto me, It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Okay. Verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, so to avoid having sex before marriage, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. So you should get married if you want to have sex, basically. Because if you don't get married before you have sex, you are engaging in fornication. Does that make any sense to you? In this world, they may tell you it is okay to have as many partners as you like, to have sex with as many people as you like. And that is wrong. If you want to have sex, you should get married. Okay, let's continue. I believe we are on verse three now. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, if I am saying that right, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. I like how the translation puts it. The husband should give his wife all that he owes her as his wife, meet her sexual needs. And the wife should give her husband all that she owes him as her husband, meet his sexual needs. Does that make any sense? So, if you have a spouse, you have no right to refuse your spouse. You have no right. In essence, your body belongs to your husband and your husband's body belongs to you. So, you can't really say no. I guess if you are feeling too sick or feeling too tired, you know, you can ask your spouse, hey, you know, I am feeling like this or that. Can we do it tomorrow or can we do it when we are less busy? So with consent, I believe you can ask your husband or wife, can we do it another time? But you just can't say, no, I am not doing it until you buy me a car. I am not going to do it because we had this argument the other day. I am not going to do it because I am mad at you. I am not going to do it until you do what I say. You cannot do that. That is wrong. Verse 4, the wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband. And likewise, also the husband hath not power of his own body, but the wife. So in essence, you belong to him and he belongs to you. So in essence, in essence, when it is time to get busy, it is time to get busy. And you may say to me, Uncle Kev, I know what the Bible says, but I am going to do whatever I want. I am going to do this and do that, and that is my right. Okay, you can go against the Bible if you want to. May God bless us.